If you were hoping for a happily ever after, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dark origins of fairy tales. Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel. That means we'll be looking at the dark original incarnations of familiar fairy tales. But several entries on this list have several versions that are considered original, so we'll be trying to discuss as many as possible. All right, let's get to the list. Come in! Who the hell are you? Why, your grandma, of course! All right, fine, I guess we're doing this. Number 10, Beauty and the Beast. This fairy tale was written by Gabrielle Suzanne Barbeau de Villeneuve in 1740, and while much of Beauty's story would be familiar to audiences, the Beast's backstory is decidedly different. The prince's father died before he was born, and when a neighboring kingdom invaded, his mother left him in the care of a capricious and powerful fairy while she went off to war. The fairy raised him, but then tried to seduce and marry him. When he refused, she turned him into a beast. Another twist is that Beauty's real father turns out to be the beast's mother's brother. In other words, Beauty and Beast are first cousins. It is you. So, a heartwarming story of abandonment, child abuse, and incest. Ah, tale as old as time. Number 9. The Ugly Duckling The original glow-up story, this duckling is an inspiration to everyone who looks forward to growing up and flaunting their fine selves at their haters. In the original by Danish author Hans Christian Andersen, however, his first flock never sees this transformation. He's harassed and bullied so bad he flees. A new flock he finds takes him in, but are soon massacred by hunters. An old woman adopts him, but her cat and her hen are just as bad as his first flock. After a hard winter of isolation and neglect, he emerges from a frozen cave to find a flock of swans who finally accept him. There is a happy ending at last, but that's still a lot for one little bird to handle. Number 8. The Frog Prince In the modern versions, a frog helps a princess and in return she graciously gives him a kiss, transforming him into a handsome prince. In the tale written down by the Brothers Grimm, though, the princess is a spoiled brat. After she loses her golden ball, a frog offers to fetch it if she'll be his close companion. She lies, and when she gets what she wants, she runs away. Princess, might I ask you to carry me to the castle? Huh? She's leaving? Wait, don't go! When the frog shows up at the castle, she cries, complains, and finally hurls him against a wall. My first kiss will be with a prince! No, oh, oh, you oh, the impact turns him human, and, obviously concussed we think, he decides to marry her. The only lesson the princess learns is that lying, using people, and attempted murder will win you a prince. I'm so sorry. Number 7. Rapunzel If you're expecting a PG-13 story, think again. This tale went through several iterations in the 17th and 18th centuries, passing through French, Italian, and German hands before coming to the Brothers Grimm. In the original versions, Rapunzel's frisky times with the prince are revealed when it becomes obvious that she is pregnant. As punishment, the fairy or sorceress cuts Rapunzel's hair and banishes her to the desert. When the prince comes back for more hanky-panky, he's horrified to discover her captor there instead. His logical solution is to jump out the window. Having lost his eyesight in the fall, he wanders the wilderness for years eating grass. There is a happy ending eventually, but not before the prince and princess suffer a lot of hardship. Number 6. The Little Mermaid The original Hans Christian Andersen version of this tale is just haunting. After saving a prince from drowning, the Little Mermaid goes to a sea witch who promises to make her human in return for her voice and tongue. The transformation feels like a sword is cutting her in two. Every step she takes feels like she's walking on knives. For her trouble, the prince falls in love with someone else. Her sisters give her a knife, saying that washing her feet in his blood will restore her mermaid form. In Anderson's original ending, she dies and becomes sea foam. I can't do it. The prince's happiness is my happiness. In his revised version, she still dies but is given a chance to go to heaven by doing 300 years of good deeds. So, yay? And perhaps, when I have turned to sea foam, foam upon the waves, 
I may yet find a way to be of service to my prince and to others. Number 5. The Goose Girl In this brutal tale, collected by the Brothers Grimm, a princess sets off to a neighboring country to marry a prince. On the way, her maid decides hereditary monarchy is for losers and orders the princess to switch clothing and horses so that she can be in charge for once. Ab jetzt bin ich die Prinzessin. Wir tauschen. Hörst du? The most easily swayed aristocrat in the world agrees. The princess ends up tending geese, but just to be sure she isn't found out, the maid has the head of the princess's talking horse cut off. Tough but fair. Eventually, though, the switch is discovered. As punishment, the maid is stripped naked, shoved in a barrel lined with spikes, and rolled through town until she's dead. Wenn das deine Mutter wüsste, ihr Herz tät ihr zerspringen. Hat der da gerade gesprochen? Number four, Snow White. The Disney version of Snow White is already pretty bleak when you think about it. Run! Run away! Hide! In the woods! Anywhere! Never come back! But the Brothers Grimm version really ratchets things up a notch. Their first variation made it Snow's biological mother who gets jealous. She abandons Snow in the forest or has a servant do her dirty work. I told you to run. If I had, you'd be dead. Later versions added the Huntsman, who's asked by the evil queen to bring back Snow White's lungs and liver so she can eat them. The most drastic change is the ending, however, wherein the evil queen unwittingly attends Snow White's wedding and the prince makes her dance in red-hot iron shoes until she dies. I will give this wretched world the queen it deserves. Number 3. Cinderella While there are many versions of this story from all over the globe, dating all the way back to 7 BC, we're focusing on the Grimm Brothers' 1819 version. Cinderella's father is still alive and apparently A-OK -okay with the abuse his daughter faces at the hands of his stepwife and her daughters. Following the ball, when the prince makes his rounds to find the girl who fits the missing slipper, the stepsisters are encouraged by their mother to cut off their toes and heels to make the slipper fit. There. Why don't you tell me who you really are? Of course, the blood is a dead giveaway, and he chooses Cinderella anyway. At the wedding, doves peck out the stepsister's eyes. Karma is pretty awful. It's hard to explain. Lizards and, and pumpkins and... Number 2. Little Red Riding Hood There are many early versions of the story, all of them laying the don't talk to strangers moral on real thick. In some, Red unwittingly eats part of her grandmother when the wolf offers her food. In others, she removes her clothes and gets in bed with the wolf. There are versions where Red is held captive but later escapes. In another, the wolf simply eats her. In yet another, she escapes after discovering her grandmother's remains. I don't know why you're complaining. I'm the one who's about to get violently bisected by the woodsman. The brothers Grimm added the woodsman cutting the grandmother and Red free and filling the wolf's stomach with stones so that when it tries to run, it dies. Yeah, it's messed up any way you slice it. What big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sleeping Beauty First published as Sun, Moon and Talia by Giambattista Basile, this tale is as dark as it gets. Following the events of the Spindle Curse, a king finds Sleeping Beauty, named Talia, assaults her in her sleep, and leaves. She becomes pregnant, gives birth, and only wakes up when one of her twins tries nursing her finger and sucks out the cursed splinter. Well, it, it uh, may come as quite a shock. <laughs> Returning, the king is shocked to see Talia awake, but eventually slinks back to his wife. Yeah, he's also married. After his wife learns of Talia and the twins, she tries to feed the babies to the king in revenge. Two eggs fold in gently. The king discovers the plot and has her burned alive, and then marries Talia instead. Um, happily ever after? So I like to think of those dark, gruesome fairy tales as like the original creepypastas. You know, like people used to share them with each other and to freak each other out. Anyway, which is your favorite dark origin of a fairy tale? Let us know in the comments or come talk to me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton.
Also, be sure to like and subscribe, and please watch this other video.